is this Leonardo da Vinci I'm supposed to be on guard against? Wait, this is... a boy? Invention. I'd call it a barrel. Wanna go for a ride? Uh, of course. You really need to ask. Let's go, Leo. <laughs> Great. I need you to help me with the wind-up motor. Uh, did you say wind-up motor? That's right. Come on. <laughs> now get in the machine. Let's go get Lisa. What a surprise. What are you gonna tell her that you like her? Wait, you think I like Lisa? Of course you like her. Don't be ridiculous. She and I are just friends. So why are you always talking about her? <clears throat> Hold on tight. The takeoffs are a little bumpy. All right, now what do you say we free the beast? <clears throat> Up, huh? Uh, oh, Lorenzo? Back here! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't worry! I'm coming! Do you want to get out? Are you kidding? Heck no! <laughs> Something on your mind? It's just that Lisa drives me nuts with her know-it-all attitude. She never stops. She's unbearable. Maybe you should hit the brakes! Yeah, but how? She's a girl. She always thinks she's right. Oh, no, hit the brakes! <laughs> Done. Sorry, pal. We got distracted. It even happens to the best pilots, right? Give me five. Take it easy. I've tested this thing out a bunch of times. How many times have you actually flown it? Before this one? Uh -huh. Well, none. Hmm? We did it, Leo! We made it across! Maybe not. Was that fun or was that fun? <laughs> was it fun? Was it fun? We nearly crashed and were smashed into pieces and you thought it was fun? It was so... incredible! Yep. This parafall worked great. <clears throat> now come on, Lisa's house is really close. Chiaco. Good morning to you, Leo. Anything biting? Don't worry about it. They're bound to bite soon. They aren't biting because they've just eaten. So what? 
Come on, Leonardo. Everybody knows that after eating, you're supposed to wait at least an hour before going swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Oh, by the way, how is your invention for going underwater coming along? Really well, actually. I call it a diving suit. I'm gonna go and try it out pretty soon. Good luck! We should let her know we're here. We're here! Don't scream, otherwise her father will hear us. You have to make the sound of an owl. Could you be serious for once? The sound an owl makes is this. <laughs> come on, come on, owl sounds. Ooh. Tell me, did you have a nice trip or what? <laughs> Funny, why did you call me? I have a lot of things to do for the harvest party. Like dances to eat and cakes to dance. Uh, what I mean is... Dances to dance and delicious cakes to eat. <laughs> Et voila, mademoiselle. You two are such fools. I just really hope that the Marquis of Montescuro won't actually be attending the dance. I get the feeling he really likes me. What if he asks me to dance with him or... What are you worrying about? You can teach him the last dance. That guy is just a fool. I mean, without his father there to help him, he wouldn't even know how to blow his own nose. Now. Enough with all this chit-chat. Follow me. I have something important that I have to show you. If it's one of your usual inventions for flying, I'm not coming. I've had enough of that. Come on. This time you won't regret well... it. And from now on, don't be so... moody. You think I'm the moody one? Look who's talking! Let it go, Lisa. You know he really cares a lot. <laughs> Madame? What are all these things? You'll find out soon enough. Could have been worse. I should have stayed at home today. I knew it. Let's get to it. <clears throat> Stop complaining and help me unload the equipment. Mm -hmm. Your wish is my command, sire. <clears throat> Got it. And this? What is it for? Here! Careful! Catch! And these? What are they for? Relax. You'll understand what all this stuff is soon enough, Lorenzo. Interesting. And now, you will both witness the first demonstration of my new invention. Oh yeah, the diving suit. That's what you called it, right? You said a suit? You made me come all this way for a fashion show? Diving suit, Lisa. It is used to go underwater. I plan on reaching a hundred steps in depth. One hundred steps in depth where even the fish dare not go? <laughs> yeah, nice joke, Leo. Let's go back home. The harvest party awaits us. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> not leave until I do this. This place is cursed. There's a creature that's been living down there for more than a million years, and you will be the first one to confront it? What are you waiting for? Put the diving suit on. But how will you be able to stay underwater? With this special suit, I won't be crushed by the pressure of the water. 
And with this tube that's attached over there, Lorenzo will pump the air down to me so I can breathe. Uh. Are you ready, Lorenzo? Mm-hmm. If I see the dragon, I'll tell it you said hello. <laughs> I hope it's not the dragon! <gasps> Thank goodness. Luckily, they're just pigeons. Liu is nearly at the depth of 100 steps. At the base of the island in the middle of the lake. I hope nothing happens to him. He's strange, but I wouldn't want him hurt. Why are you looking at me? The bubbles are disappearing. Uh. <laughs> Of pumping. Let's hope that he at least finds the dragon. Don't you get it? 100 steps underwater. Nobody has ever managed to do that before. Uh, but I have to fix some things. At one point, I had no air. Oh. Here, this is something I got for you. And this is for you. It's a dragon's tooth. <laughs> But this is just a piece of wood. Of course. Everybody knows that dragons have wooden teeth. You fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you guys are done, I am going to go home. <laughs> Lorenzo! The 
harvest has been lost. I have to pay the rent on the land, and I don't know what to do. I will have to sell the house. That is all we have left. <laughs> Lisa, don't worry. We'll find a solution. <laughs> Lisa, I didn't mean You didn't mean what? We'll find a solution? You and your absurd inventions. I told you I didn't want to come today. If I had just stayed home, then... But Lisa, I... Go away! <laughs> Go away! I never want to see you again! <sighs> hey, Leo. Lisa is in trouble. We're gonna have to help her somehow. How much do you have saved? Mm, how's this? I don't think that's gonna be enough, Lorenzo. Hey, guys! What happened? A tragedy, Maestro. Lisa's barn and fields just burned to the ground. I hope that no one got hurt. Luckily, no, but Lisa is devastated. I can imagine, poor girl. These fields mean everything to her father. Yes, I know. The thing is, Maestro, I really want to help, but I don't know how. I was wondering if you could, well... Leo, I'm sorry, but I don't have many florins saved. No, no, I didn't mean it in that way at all. What I was actually getting at was... It's all right, I understand. You need an idea. Let me think on it. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> Try this one. Mm -hmm. Oh my, what is it? It's an invention of mine. Uh -huh. An ink-filled pen. Bring this introductory letter to a maestro that I know in Florence. <laughs> After all, you're very good at drawing. If you work for him in his workshop for a while, you could make some money to help Lisa. Perfect! That's great, maestro! I, I don't know how to thank you. And me? You? Oh, if I remember correctly, you are quite exceptional when it comes to plants and vegetables. Of course. So you could peel the carrots in the workshop's kitchen. Thank you, Maestro. Leo, remember to bring some of your drawings. And you, Lorenzo, just don't forget the carrot peeler. Of course, and thank you again. Yeah, thank you. Don't forget the carrot peeler. How dare you! Lorenzo? But no, I was calling Lisa to give her the good news. We use the owl sound? <laughs> Better not waste time. We must leave for Florence as soon as possible. I'll go get the drawings. I still have to finish one, and we'll leave bright and early tomorrow morning. Lisa doesn't have to know anything about this, okay? That's fine. Lorenzo, hold on! Have you seen... Leo? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I didn't see him. I didn't see him go get, uh... Go get what? Tell me. Uh, to get his drawings so that he can bring them to Florence. But you don't have to know about that. What don't I have to know about? That he wants to do what he can to help you. He's gonna go there to work in a shop, and whatever he earns will go to help your farm. Oh, no, 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 no! I knew I shouldn't have yelled at him. What time are you leaving, exactly? I can't tell you that. My lips are sealed. Six o'clock sharp. Leonardo da Vinci that I have to keep an eye out for while on the island of Monte Cristo. Oh. Wait, this is... a boy? Oh yes, the bird. So I'll get my instructions by an air drop. <laughs> but... I'm sorry. There are no buts. <laughs> Let me go! So, we have a guest. Hmm. And whatever shall we do with you? <laughs> Get some paper, he's gonna write a note. This will work into my plan perfectly. <laughs> He's 
here. Lisa, wh what are you... Lorenzo told me everything. I'm sorry I acted rude like that. I'm coming with you to Florence. I want to be of help. But... No, don't worry about it. My parents said it was okay. Oh. All right, then. Let's go. Um, okay. Uh, um, well, first we have to wait for Lorenzo, and it's strange that he's still not here yet. Lorenzo isn't actually coming with us. I found this note on my doorstep this morning. It says that he suddenly had to go with his father to a horse fair. Did he really have to do that now? Oh, well, let's go. Hold on tight. The takeoffs are a little bumpy. I think we're close now. The painter studio we're looking for should be right around that corner. Pardon me, sir. Does this house belong to the painter Verrocchio? Yes, this is the place. I have a letter for him. I'd like to introduce myself if I could. You're out of luck, my boy. He left for... Milano. He'll be back in a month. So what do we do now? If you're looking for painters, why don't you go down to the marketplace? There are plenty of them there selling their artwork. Hmm. At the end of the road. You can't miss it. Thank you. Thank you. Familiar face. Would you like me to read your poem? No, actually, I come here, children. I have some fried frogs. Want a taste? Are you interested in the delicious apple? <laughs> yeah, I'm allergic to mice. <laughs> Everyone is crazy here. Look, over there is the market square. Maybe we can find someone there who would be willing to help us. Uh, let's go. Catch her! She stole an apple! Yeah. Actually, I meant to say she stole a whole crate of apples! Don't worry, I'll get her. Yeah, let her go! She Somebody just took an apple that her. fell off the cart. The little one must be hungry. That. Come on, let's go. Come, ladies and gentlemen, come! We are about to start the show. Please, come in closer. Don't be frightened. Make yourselves comfortable. The story is about to start. This story is an adventure that starts in a faraway town on an island, in the heart of the vast Indian Ocean. A ship sails out to sea with its water so cold, but there it keeps a secret down in its hold. They met sea monsters who gave them a fright, bloodthirsty pirates who wanted to fight, ferocious winds that blew from the east, giant tornadoes that never would cease. But neither the wind nor the rain nor the snow could reveal the big secret they kept down below. Oh, come on! Just get to the point already and tell us what was on that ship. Relax, young lady. This is the tale of the biggest treasure to ever set sail. The carrot went down, the crew all drowned. The treasure was lost, never to be found. And now it sits at the bottom of the sea. Waiting for a rescue, is it you, is it me? Near the island of Elba, where it does lay. Go try to find it. Good luck and good day. Be aware that the sunken ship can be found under the stars of Sirius and Procyon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for one day only, I have the map to where the shipwreck lies, and for the modest price of one florin, it can be yours. I absolutely have to have that map. I only have half a florin. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I only have half a florin, but in exchange for the map, I can give you this. You can keep that little drawing of yours. I'll let you have the map for half a florin. You'll drive a hard bargain, Leonardo. Hmm? How do you know my name? Hmm? Uh, I saw your signature on the drawing. <laughs> right. Whew.
Here is the map. Thank you. Well, good luck. Here. I think we finally have the solution to all our problems. And what might that be? The map. That treasure really exists. When the storyteller spoke about the ship, he called it a Carrick. Chiaco told me about a Carrick ship that was coming back from the Indies full of gold and that it sunk in the sea near here. Doesn't it seem like a strange coincidence? Are you sure? That storyteller seemed like a charlatan to me. Shall we go? Let's go. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> There she is! If you really want to see what's going on up there, use this. You can see a lot better. And what is this? Look inside, you'll see. Uh, but everything looks so far away. You have to turn it around, miss. for this? Give it back, it's mine! <sighs> I'll only give it back if you take me with you to look for the treasure. What do you think, Leo? That girl is pretty smart. Okay, fine. Be at Ponte Vecchio before sunset. You understand? I'll be there. And make sure that you're on time. You did the right thing. Maybe she could help us. Let's hope. And who's that? His name is Nicolo. He uses this thing to look at the stars. Not a thing. It's a telescope, and I use it to study the stars. I know most of them by heart, and I can point them out in the sky. So then you know where to find the stars Sirius and Procyon? Of course, my lady. They're between... Oh, wait, tonight! You could show us those stars. Ah, Sirius and Procyon. Well, Nicolo, do you want to come along with us? You can see the stars better at sea. Really? Then let's go! Ponte Vecchio is down there. I think we're in the wrong spot. Really? What a scatterbrain I am. I got confused. Too bad. I guess that little thief won't be able to join us, will she? You thought you could fool me, huh? <sighs> Now that we're all here, we can leave. She's not coming along. But you promised me earlier that I could come with you. I'm sorry, it's too dangerous for a young girl. Mm? Yeah. Mm. How rude. Agnes is alone in the world. Agnes just wanted a story that she could tell people about. An exciting story about treasure with her new friend. Actually, it would be her first friends. Agnes has never had friends in her life. That's the only reason why Agnes took the map. Please, won't you let me come with you? You said that I could. <laughs> You're quite the actress, aren't you? You think we'd fall for that? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've made your point. Let's go. I can't wait to get my hands on that treasure. What makes you think that the treasure is still there? Do you remember what the storyteller said? Now it sits at the bottom of the sea, hmm? waiting for a rescue. Will you? Is it me? Yeah. Yes, I see you remember what he said. Anyway, only me and my invention are able to go that far down into the ocean. I'll go down there and get it faster than you can blink your eyes. Hmm. Well, can't this thing of yours go any faster? Now you're talking my language.
sorry. I was hungry. I only ate one carrier pigeon, and don't forget, I'm one of you guys. I used to be a cabin boy for Pirate Fly. That pigeon happened to be Pirate Fly's favorite of all his feathered friends. So now you're taking a long walk on a short plank. Boss, <laughs> <laughs> hmm? I see them. They're coming. Finally. Furl the sails and douse the lanterns. Oh, good idea. We wouldn't want to be seen, would we? <laughs> Hurry up, you bunch of incompetent scallywags. But isn't it dangerous turning the lanterns off? Don't be such a scaredy cat. In all my years of pirating, I never once had anything happen. <laughs> The sun will rise soon, and then we will spy on that boy and his friends. I'm curious to see what's so special about this Leonardo da Vinci. Killer, bring Blackwing. It's time I won't fly. This is the map that we found in Florence. The treasure should be in the sea in front of the island, right under the stars of Sirius and Porcupine. <laughs> Sirius and Procyon, not Porcupine. <laughs> Let me see that. I think the position on the map is correct. Everything is there. The stars Sirius and Procyon are lined up. So maybe there really is a treasure. And tomorrow we'll go there and try to... Tomorrow? I forgot to tell you the most important thing. Tomorrow there's a solar eclipse. Hooray! Okay, I just have one question. What's a solar eclipse? You don't know? <clears throat> I'll be short. Eclipse comes from Greek, and it means the high. This only happened when these three celestial bodies are perfectly aligned. But then what actually happens? Hmm. Okay, let's pretend that the fire is the sun. This is the moon, and this is the earth. When the moon goes between the sun and the earth, we have an eclipse, and the eclipse will be tomorrow. Hmm? Uh, guys? I'm just sleeping. I wasn't done talking yet. It says Leo arrived on the island. We are close. So now we wait and the treasure chest will be mine. <laughs> Pirate Fly knows how to wait. Friend, I know that wheat tastes much better, but rope isn't so bad either. <sighs> Thanks for the help. Choco! 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 Who is it? What do you want? It's me, Lorenzo! You'll never believe this! I was kidnapped by pirates! By pirates? Enough with the jokes. I think that Leo is in danger as well. Have you seen him? The pirates said they're spying on him on the island of Monte Cristo. The island of Monte Cristo? Are you sure you heard that right? Yes, of course. Hmm. And I say we have no choice but to set sail. We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Hmm? What are you looking 
looking at, Leo. If you want, you can use my telescope. I don't need it, thank you. I can see perfectly fine with just my eyes. <laughs> Once again, nice guy of the year goes to Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to look if you don't mind. Why, of course you can, Lady Agnes. Hmm. Hey, look! What is that? What? Give it here. Huh? Hold this. Too close to the shore. These nets are dangerous. It got stuck. Hey, where'd it go? It's back, Leo. Oh, hi there. You okay? Mr. Dolphin. But this looks like an ancient necklace. That means there really is treasure, and it's close. I'll find it.
you find? Well, uh, that was right. There is a ship. <laughs> it's there, but there was no... No treasure. Nothing. This is what I figure. They were anchored here and then attacked. They had their treasure stolen and then were sunk. The thieves vanished to some remote island. What are we gonna do now? I'm not sure yet. I have to think about it. When the boss hears the bad news, he's gonna be angrier than an angry snake, I tell you. Listen, in all my years of pirating, I never once came across an angry snake. <laughs> Sure, you heard that right. The small one said he found a sunken ship, but there was nothing inside it, boss. Well, Fly won't like it. Go check out the shipwreck yourself. But how do we do that? The kid had some kind of special clothing and a tube to breathe with. So make one yourselves. Hurry! <laughs> Better hurry or else we might get hit by lightning. Listen, in all my years of pirates, and I never once thought. Where am I gonna find water out here? Never mind. The last thing we needed is rain. Oh, come on. Who's afraid of a little rain? Where I come from, it rains all the time. My friends and I have lots of fun jumping in the puddles. <laughs> well, since you happen to like rain so much, why don't you go and check if Barrel is secure? You can never be too careful. Does he have to do it now? It's raining. It's okay. Don't worry, Miss Lisa. You can count on me. I'll go make sure Beryl is safe. I'll head there now. Yeah, but Beryl isn't that way. Forget it. I'll just go with him. <laughs> well, it stopped raining. What's wrong, Lisa? It's nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Something bothering you? I don't think you'd understand. What are you talking about? I understand everything. I mean, how bad can it be? Hmm? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I just meant that maybe I could help. Well, we should be able to go back to looking for the treasure. Oh, this is Lisa's. I'll be honest with you, Leo. I didn't tell you everything earlier. You see, my father's problems due to the fire are far worse than I thought. I overheard my dad talking to the Count, and he said if we don't pay him back, he'll take everything. Unless I... Unless what? Yeah, unless what? Unless I marry his son, the Marquis of Montescuro. What's that? You mean that scrawny stuck-up boy? <laughs> Oh, Lisa, you don't have to... <laughs> Ow! Why don't you watch where you're going? There's something you guys really need to see. Pirates? No! What do we do now? supposed to sink with these things on. We need heavy rocks that will weigh us down and carry us to the bottom. Oh, a man even sword!
question is, what do they want? I'd bet anything they're here for the treasure. Unfortunately, they will be disappointed. And what if they know something more about us? You got a point there. Chaco told me that pirates pass on their secrets to each other. Let's find out what they know. What do we have to lose, right? That's a good idea. First, we have to figure out exactly where their ship is being anchored. But we have to be careful. We need to really think this out and... Uh -uh. Leo! Wait for me, I'm coming too! Are we gonna look for pirates too? First, a snack. It's a pleasure, Lady Agnes. I couldn't eat a whole pirate ship. Mm. There they are. Should we go on board? Yes, of course. Besides, what do we have to lose, right? Then get ready for a little sunset swim. Enjoy the ship. It'll be dark soon. Get the pigeons ready, Francis. Let me ask you something. Why would they need pigeons on board a ship? No idea. Then let's find out. is empty and the treasure is not there. The brats gave up. We await new orders. That means that they're spying on us. Never mind that. I can't believe they called us brats. Those bumbling fools. They didn't send the carrier pigeon. Fly can't wait. simply has to be out there somewhere. It does! It has to exist! Just a small mouse that made a big splash. <sighs> the pirates are spying on us, and they're sending information to someone. So what are we supposed to do? For now, let's catch our breath. Then... Leo, you have to do something. I don't want to marry that fool. <sighs> you don't have to be scared. I'm here. Okay. When I am here with you, I'm a fish. 
fish inside a creek And I don't know how to speak Maybe a mobile phone could help So I can tell you, my dear What I can't when you are near As you know, I'm very shy Just like a child explain I saw two ship wheels underwater yeah so what but don't you get it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. two ship wheels means two ships <sighs> did you really wake us up just for that wait a second Lee was right if there are two ship wheels then the ship that took the treasure must have sunk nearby as well yeah great how exciting the ship is down there the treasure is close I'm having so much fun I'm so glad I came Ugh. Agnes is going back to sleep now. Let's let them sleep. You and I will search for the other ship. <sighs> hmm? Huh? Why aren't you sleeping? Because I'm really worried. Why? I'm afraid Leo won't find the treasure and Lisa... What? Lisa, what? It's kind of a long story. Follow me. Yesterday, when I got back to the cave, I heard Lisa... And to make a long story short, Lisa has to get married. That's all I know about it. Poor Lisa. Now it's all starting to make sense. <sighs> if only there was some way we could help her. I know. Ah! Pirates! Oh, ah! Come on, let's hide! <sighs> Hold on a sec. I have a plan. Follow me. Don't you understand? There's a pirate ship on this island. And you know what's in pirate ships? Uh, the hold. And what are the holds of pirate ships filled with? Uh, they're filled with gold and precious stones. So we're going to build a raft, climb on board, and... And they capture us immediately. Exactly. Huh? That's part of the plan. Oh. Leo is up to something. Well, Fly said to wait here. Guess he was right. The search for the treasure is not over. <clears throat> Pirates! Shh! They'll hear us! Bring them aboard. What was it you were saying now? I was saying that I'm a great wizard that comes from Poland. <laughs> a great wizard as tiny as a church mouse. <laughs> if you don't leave here, right now, when I clap my hands, the sun will go dark. How can you clap your hands if you are tied up like a balloon? Hmm? If you don't give up the search for the treasure right now, when I hook my tongue, the sun will go dark. Careful, young scallywag, or I will take that jabbering tongue of yours and chop it off. Hmm? When I click my tongue, may the sun disappear. Hmm. You sure about this? Very sure. Hmm. Huh? Oh, come on, son. Disappear already.
are they up to? <laughs> Right, the treasure is finally ours. Be careful, the ship is very old and it's been here for a long time. It could be dangerous. <laughs> Bring the trunk outside. Be careful where you put your feet. You wouldn't want to fall again. You were saying... Now let's open it up and see this treasure. The treasure. It belongs to Fly. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Francis, open up the treasure chest. I want to see what's inside. Are you waiting for an invitation? There doesn't seem to be a way to open it, boss. Huh? Then blast the thing open with a cannonball! Actually, no. I have a better idea. Chakala, give us a beat. You know the one. <laughs> huh? Ha! Guess the riddle with the knife is poor. You only get one, not a single guess more. If you guess, be sure to guess right. Because if you're wrong, then it's good night. <laughs> Agnes? Niccolo! Oh, oh no. no! Something tells me that the young genius took the bait. Get the prisoners ready. Tell you not to play with knives? Hmm. What are you planning to do with that? <laughs> and now you'll jump. I'll count to three and then a nice dive. One, two. Not so fast. Well, look who we have here. If you free Agnes and Niccolo, and you let them go, then I'll show you how to open the treasure chest. Take it or leave it. To tell you the truth, I don't think that you are in the position to be dictating the terms. No, don't! Let's do it this way. You open the treasure chest, and then the kids will be free. All right, but you have to do exactly as I say. Lift the treasure chest and hang it over the water. OK. 
Okay, the first thing I need now is a knife. If any of you makes one false move, Lisa will cut the rope and the treasure will end up to be dinner for the hungry sharks. Now, get me some fish. We need more fish. You little rat, you better not be trying to trick me. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Look closely at the treasure chest. What do you see? I give up. Some dolphins. You see some dolphins that are jumping out of the water. It's an acoustic opening treasure chest. Acoustic? Listen, we're nearly there. We're rich. Ha! Doing business with you has been a real pleasure. Thank you for your cooperation. Now then, get rid of all of them. Cut the rope, Lisa! <laughs> Oh no, they stopped it! If you think you can fool the crew of Pirate Fly, then you're dead wrong! Capture them! Lisa, dive in the water! I wonder if those hungry sharks will become more intelligent after having eaten a young genius. <laughs> you, go get the treasure chest! Right, right away, boss! boss. Stop him, you bumbling fools! You let them go, and then I'll bring you back the treasure! Follow him! He can't go far! Come on! They'll catch up to me soon. I have to come up with a plan pretty quickly or else... You want it. All right, ready the cannon. No! We can't let him get away. Fire! treasure anyway, so just give up and... Huh? What does he think he's doing? No! The treasure is lost forever! Ah! Destroy him! Aim the cannon at him! Get him! But if you're not careful, there's a good chance Be that... Be quiet, scaredy cat! I never make mistakes!
You're right, you don't make mistakes. Instead, you made a really big hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, Agnes, let's both exhale. Ah. Hurry up and fix this hole, now! We're too heavy! We won't make it! There's another ship! Let's ask for help! My mom always told me I should have been a plumber. Okay? So yeah, the pirates are really scared at all. Then we found the treasure. What? The pirates? The treasure? The pirates? Oh. Looks like they're having some problems. Drag them up on board. They will pay for what they did to my friend Leo. And what about the treasure? Yeah, well, that was lost at the bottom of the sea. But I saved a part. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Leo. <laughs> Capture them! You didn't get that, Leo. You really did not understand that I am the real pirate boss. I'm the pirate fly. It's all done, my lord. Wait. That's the storyteller from the market, which means that... Exactly. All of them were pirates at my service. I arranged everything. I was there spying on you while you took a dip in the lake. I knew that you were the only one that could recover treasure underwater. Hold on a second. You mean that you're the one who set the fire at Lisa's? Very good. When you put your mind to something, you figure it out. Could you? As soon as I get out of this thing, you're finished! Blah, blah. Just relax. Now give me the treasure and let's end this farce. Unfortunately, there'll be no happy ending for you. <laughs> There's only one small problem. If you even think about laying a single finger on that treasure chest, darkness will cover the entire Earth and we'll all burn up to a crisp. You still think we're gonna believe that? That boy took us for a couple of fools. <laughs> but we aren't fools, are we, Francis? <laughs> ah, the kid was wrong! The end of the world has come, man! <laughs> <laughs> It's just an eclipse! Not bad, huh? My new calculations on the eclipse are right. Let's go home. Yes, and let's make it quick. Oh, look out! Come on, you little brat! Little brat, huh? <coughs> Don't worry, 
Captain. It's just a dolphin. We ran into him before. <laughs> Here, this telescope is for you. Thank you. And this drawing is for you. But I don't have four arms. You draw really badly. You should practice drawing more. <laughs> You're right. I'll think about that. Well then, goodbye. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Mwah. Huh? Hm. Agnes, you're not gonna say goodbye to me? Yes, goodbye. Uh I was joking, silly. Bye. <laughs> Lisa! Father! Oh, I thought that I would never see you again and that you disappeared because of... the Marquis of Montescuro.